All right, stop whatever you're doing. Because China just dropped a humanoid robot that doesn't just compete. It punches its way into the top of the entire robotics world. This is the engine AIT-800. And yes, that name is bold. But after seeing what this thing can do, it might actually deserve it. So here's the story. For almost a year, everyone was speculating. Is Engine AI really building something serious? Or is it just another company flashing CGI hype? Yeah, no, they weren't kidding. They spent the last 12 months rebuilding the robot three times, pulled together 150 of their best engineers. And today, they finally revealed the fully finished, full power T-800. And let me tell you, this thing is not here to play. First off, the physical presence alone is wild. The T-800 stands at 1.73 meters, basically the height of an average adult. But what makes it even crazier is how human it looks when it moves. The proportions were designed deliberately to match real-world scenarios. Factory floors, hotels, warehouses. So it can walk right into an actual job and not look like some oversized toy rolling around confused. And that shell? It's not plastic. It's not fiberglass. Engine AI wrapped this robot in aviation-grade magnesium aluminum alloy, CNC, machined to perfection. The result is this sleek, almost sci-fi body that somehow balances being friendly enough to stand beside a receptionist, but strong enough to take a beating in real industrial environments. But let's talk power, because this is where the T-800 becomes a problem for every other robotics company. This robot can output 450 Newton meters of torque. 450. That puts it in a completely different league when it comes to dynamic tasks. Running? Easy? Lifting? No problem. Martial arts level kicks? Apparently yes, because Engine AI literally showed it pulling off flying kicks, capoeira moves, boxing combos. The kind of motion that would make most robots shatter their gearboxes. Inside each joint is an electromechanical module Engine AI built in-house, and the peak power output hits 14,000 watts when everything fires at once. For reference, that's the kind of explosive capability you normally see in industrial actuators, not something doing high-speed human-like motion. And you can't push a robot this hard without giving it a brain. So they built it one. The T-800 uses an onboard 8-core processor but you can upgrade it to their Thor chip, which delivers a ridiculous 2000 TOPS of compute. Combined with 360 degree LiDAR and dual real sense depth cameras, it sees a full map of its environment in milliseconds. That allows it to dodge obstacles, plan paths, and basically move with a level of confidence you don't normally see outside of Boston Dynamics demos. Now here's the part I didn't expect, the hands. These aren't basic grippers. Engine AI developed a 7 degree of freedom, dexterous hand with tactile sensing and a surprisingly human motion pattern. It can switch from grabbing a heavy box to delicately sorting small items without any special tools. For actual workplace scenarios, hotels, logistics, manufacturing, this is exactly the kind of versatility companies have been begging for. And endurance, they didn't slap in a random battery pack. They built the first solid-state power battery designed specifically for humanoids. That alone is a massive milestone. Combine that with an active cooling system in the legs that regulates temperatures in real time, and the T-800 can run four to five hours straight under heavy load. That's basically a full shift of physical work before a swap. Now, here's where it gets interesting industry-wise. Engine AI didn't just reveal a robot they revealed a full product lineup. You've got the base model, the open source ecosystem model, the pro version, and the max, all starting at 180,000 yuan, which is insane when you compare it to most full-size humanoids that cost multiple times more. They're gearing up for mass production right now with a completely automated manufacturing line, meaning these things aren't prototypes, they're products. And that's the moment everyone in robotics started paying attention. This isn't another one-off demo robot that looks good on stage and disappears. This is a full-size, high-performance humanoid 
that's actually market ready with torque, endurance, stability, a solid state battery, and multi-scenario deployment already tested. It does something the industry has struggled with for years. It bridges the gap between impressive demo and real-world tool. The T800 is fast, powerful, durable, and practical. It breaks away from the toy-like limitations that have held so many humanoid companies back. And Engine AI knows exactly what they're doing. They're aiming for logistics centers, hotels, retail, airports, manufacturing, everywhere a human-shaped robot can work without needing the environment redesigned around it. If anyone still thinks humanoid robots are 10 years away, the T-800 pretty much just proved they're not. This is the moment the robotics industry shifts gears, and Engine A, I just hit the accelerator. 